Alrighty, I'm going to walk you through setting up the Zen theme for Drupal using Dreamweaver as a, a back-end editing tool. I'm currently on the Zen theme. I've just googled the term uh, Drupal Zen theme and it's brought me to the Drupal.org project. And I scroll to the bottom and I notice here that in the downloads there is a tar and a zip file link. And so I can just right click on this, copy the link, and install it. So if I pop back over to my Drupal site, my Pantheon uh, Drupal site hosted on Pantheon, I can install a new theme. Uh, notice I've already got the theme installed, but I'm going to just go ahead and click on that, paste that URL here, and install it, and then that theme is available to me. So likewise, on the back end, I've set up my Dreamweaver site to connect to the Pantheon site on the server, and you notice that I've got, uh, I'm inside my code slash sites slash all directory and it shows me my themes and it shows me modules and libraries that I've installed. So here's that Zen theme that I installed previously and I've already downloaded it to my local drive on the right side. So once I've done that uh, I'm going to create a sub theme and to create a sub theme you're going to click on starter kit. You notice that there's virtually a duplicate of the Zen uh, theme directories here, so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to just option and drag it out. So hopefully that will copy for me. Nope, didn't. So I'm going to copy that up to my themes directory. And there we go. So I went ahead and made a copy. I've still got the starter kit inside my Zen theme in case I need to go back and start over. So I'm currently, I'm done with my Zen theme. I'm going to close that and I'm going to open my starter kit. So the first thing I want to do is, in my starter kit, I want to name my theme something useful. Uh, it's a new theme name, so I'm going to just call this Pudgy Bunny. Just a term. Um, as a side note here, it asks me to update files. I never update the files in Dreamweaver. Things can get messed up. It's better to just know what you're doing and know where things are, and then if you have to make changes, you can do a global search and replace on some of the links, but we're not going to be doing that here. So I've got my, my theme name, and then what you're going to look for is a starterkit.info.txt file. So I'm going to rename this, and it has to be, I have to first of all, I have to delete the, that .txt and turn this into a just a .info file. And I have to name it exactly the same as my theme name. So it's pudgybunny.info. What's going to happen, what this is for is, is when Drupal looks at this directory, first thing it's going to do is scan the directory and look for a pudgybunny.info file. And it's going to look for some specific things inside there. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on this. Now, if I double click on this, it's going to open this in a text editor. I generally don't like to work in a text editor. I've got a text editor. It's called Dreamweaver. So I'm going to just say open this with Dreamweaver so I can edit this text file. There's a couple other files that we want to edit. Um, by the way, this is all played out here. I'm going to go ahead and open this as well. This README. The README tells you all of the steps to do this. So um, just to get started here, I'm going to go ahead and just glance at this README file. And if I get down to the instructions, it says set up a location, copy this the starter kit to another folder, name the folder, um, set up some basic information. You're going to change the name of that starter kit file. This is what I just told you. Um, and tells you a little bit more reasoning behind it. And this is setting up uh, your layouts. I'm not going to worry about this right now, um, but this is telling you you can set it up for either responsive or fixed design. So play with that as you see, see fit. Number four here is uh, setting up your starter kit. So one of the things you have to do is you have to edit two files, the your directory, your theme directory, theme settings, and your template.php. Uh, so if I go back here to my theme settings, I'm sorry, back to my directory, here's my theme settings, and there is my template. I'm going to open both of those. 
And this is a really easy process. All we have to do is just do a global search and replace for the word starter kit. So I commit, say, find, type starter kit, and I'm going to replace that with Pudgy Bunny. Now, of course, you can name this whatever you want. Pudgy Bunny just happens to be the name of your theme, my theme that I'm choosing. It doesn't have to um, obviously be named this, but it has to be an internet safe name, no spaces or funky characters. And then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and say, look in the open uh, documents, and we're going to replace all. So it's going to find about 21 documents. It's going to, uh, let's just verify here. Um, it actually changed the readme too. I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. So I'm just going to not, I won't save that file when I close it. But you've got the theme settings here, and then you've got the template set, uh, uh, file here, and it's changed all those. So perfect. Close that. We're going to close this. I'm going to save it. I'm not going to save the readme because I want that to stay the same. Close the theme settings. Save that. And here's my .info. Now, before I close my .info file, there's one more thing that I want to look at. First of all, notice these semicolons. The semicolons uh, mean that it's a comment. And so what that comment is, is uh, what that means is that it's just uh, information for you. It's nothing that Drupal is going to use to, um, to rely on. But once I get down here, I've got some style sheets called out. And it says style sheets all, style sheets all. So these are kind of your core style sheets for the system and for the theme. Then it says, then we add our own style sheet. So there's a style sheet here. I like to take it a step further and actually create my own style sheet. So what I do is I just copy this. And I want to copy the entire thing because it, it needs to understand that it's a style sheet. And that's how that does that. And then there's a CSS directory inside my theme. If I bring this back up, there it is. And it's telling me there's a styles.css file right there. And there it is. And I'm going to just call this my style, styles. And I have to remember that, but there it is. And so, so what I've done is I've just made a new style sheet that's inside my styles folder. I haven't made the file yet. I'm just referencing it. So now I'm going to close this, I'm going to save it. And the first thing I'm going to do is make that style sheet. So I'm going to come up here and say we're going to create a CSS style sheet, a CSS document, and you know, just for fun, what I usually do is, uh, many of you know this about me, um, sort of very basic background color for the body. And what this is going to do is, is it will tell me that when I upload this style sheet that everything's working. So I believe, it's still on my clipboard, yeah, mystyles.css. And now I need to save that into my theme. So I'm actually kind of out of my theme here. I actually need to drill into it here. And it's, there it is inside my CSS. And I hit save. Should come back to my file directory. And I should see it here. Let me just refresh that directory. MyStyles.css. So there it is. Okay, great. So next thing I need to do is upload this. And this will take a second, but I will um, go ahead and um, push it up to the server, and it'll take a second. But while I'm pushing this up, um, what I'm going to do is 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 this, this will become a new theme. And as I get over to my Pantheon site, I'll see that new theme and I'll make it uh, active and that will, will set it as, a, uh, as the new default theme. This is going to take a while, so I'm going to go ahead and stop there. You have to just try, trust me and if it doesn't work, you're generally the problem is, is this .info file is incorrect. So you have to make sure that you follow each of these steps correctly. You have to change starter kit to the name of your theme in these two direct in, in these two files. You have to name your 
starterkit.info.txt file to Pudgy Bunny or the name of your theme.info. And you need to change the name of your theme directory to the name of your theme. So this was Starter Kit. We changed it to Pudgy Bunny. This is Pudgy Bunny. Pudgy Bunny's in there. It says fat, fat Rabbits Everywhere. So we've got, um, got our theme set up and we're good to go. So we're going to sign off to save you having to watch this video all the way to the end. And hope you find that this